If you got a problem, you can say we can leave. You don't have to come and be all hard. You got a problem too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Then ask. Then ask. Wait, wait, wait. Check out those fly fishing skills out here. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. We are gonna be doing some pond hopping today uh, with our buddy Trev um, from Instagram. I've yet to ever fish with him, but he lives literally like 10 minutes, 20 minutes down the road from me. And I just figured that out. So I was like, hey, let's get the hell out. Go do some fishing, go have some fun. Uh, so he's actually here right now. He's got like a destroyed ACL, which is crazy. Um, he's gonna actually try to do some pond hopping with like a, a torn ACL. We are gonna be using a mystery tackle box, but we'll talk more about that when we get uh, out of the car and uh, get rigged up. So see you guys in a second. That's dedication. That's dedication right there. All right guys, once again, we're gonna be using a mystery tackle box. Not only mystery tackle box, but I do wanna use this month's mystery tackle box to see what's in it. And I already see the first bait I'm gonna be tossing and using right here, right off the bat, the Guggen Hummer. So this is a Ketchco and Guggen collab, and another reason why Ketchco is one of my favorite brands because they work with such great companies like Guggen. We also got some uh, little net bait worm, or what? Those aren't worms. Those are lizards. Hell yes, yeah. six-inch green pumpkin magic lizard. Those actually look really freaking juicy, dude. I like that. It's got like a gold flake. That's gonna be really really nice. Pop that to the side real quick. Got some hooks, good, good to always have some terminal. We got the Reaction Strike Ranger. Now this might actually be really good here because it's a really small little bait fish. Like it's probably about half the size of my finger. And uh, I know this pond has a lot of fry, a lot of uh, ghost shad and stuff like that. And speaking of that, here's another really great bait, I think for this pond. Just a little white shad looking thing. Sorry guys, the road's really loud, it's right behind us. But uh, we got this little shad two different little shad baits. I think those will both work really good. We got, oh my God, what are these? These look amazing. These Cree Crawls by Weston. Dude, these look so good. I love it when you get like a nice flap on a craw bait. It's almost like these are like a, more like a bandito bug looking like flat, but very small body. And I like, I like smaller bodies, especially at pressured urban ponds. Oh, oh, I've never tried one of these, but I've always wanted to. The last lure in the box, the 1-3 Jabberjaw. I'm sure you guys aren't familiar with this, but if you are, you already know, but the little bill on this thing goes back and forth and vibrates similar to a chatterbait. And if you know me, you know I love chatterbaits. So we might have to try that out here a little bit later on. But once again, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, pop all this back in here, grab the Guggen Bait little Hummer, and we'll probably just take one pull walk around this pond you guys check it out it's not a very very big pond at all it's take us maybe 20 minutes to walk around it so i'm just gonna take the box with me this uh little hummer yeah nice to meet you airplane uh and we'll probably just tie it on to what do we got right here we can even go to green series the shimano slx and i think i got 15 pound uh p-line floral carbon on there or coated compliments of our boy rob so let's go get this thing tied on real quick i have yet to throw the black color but this thing looks like juicy. It's not even just solid black. It's got a black skirt. It's got a black and blue head. It's got that gold Hummer blade. Listen to that thing. Oh, money. I might be weird, but I personally don't like using trailers when I use buzz baits, just because I feel like it weighs the bait down a little bit too too much, and I like my my buzz baits to stay on top of the water. I feel like it gets a little bit more noise, and it makes it a little bit more natural looking when you have a bait, you know, kicking on top of the water versus through the middle of the water. One more thing about Mr. Tackle Box, guys. If you have not used them yet and you want to try them out, I'm going to leave a link below. Just go ahead and click that link. Get on over there. Use my code. And uh, I'm going to leave my code right here below, Ryan R. Use that code. Get on over there. Save yourself $10 off your box, whichever box you pick. Or you can get your first box as little as $10. Uh, once again, leaving a link below, code Ryan R. So take advantage of that. Just going to work this thing right around like the grassy little edges. Trying not to go too far with it, too crazy, because if the bite happens, I want to be able to set the hook and keep that tension on. Um, but we're just going to keep burning it right outside these areas. Try to stay parallel with the grass if we can. This month's box just looks so damn juicy, I had to try it. I mean, 
everything in it's gonna work. Just fishing these pressured ponds that we're fishing right now, we might have to kind of uh, finesse it up. I might have to go with that lizard or something that they haven't seen yet. I mean, I, I know they haven't seen buzz baits, but pressure ponds, sometimes they don't even bite top water. Unless it's real small, real simple. Those junior frogs, maybe. Now, I've never burned a buzz bait atop, across grass like this, but I think you can. Let's try it out. I mean, it kind of just skips across. That's not bad. Yeah, that works. That works. I'll do that. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. Sometimes I'm out here learning stuff with you guys. Oh man, the grass has definitely grown a lot more over here in this edge than the last time I was out here. I haven't been out in this pond in over a year, so all the areas are going to be fishing. I haven't been in over a year. Oh, that's a, that's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish, baby. That's a fish. Through the grass. Let's go. Let's go. Buzzbait through the grass. I saw a swirl. Literally stopped this thing real quick. I said, hold on. Let me uh, let me let this guy take it real quick. Look at that. He just spit it out already. Didn't even have him hooked. It was just like barely pulling him up. That is how we do it. Look how dark this bass is. That's how we know they're in these grass mats. They're not getting any of that sun, so they're not you know changing colors. They're not losing that pigmentation. Uh, really, really awesome fish. All right, let's keep moving. I'll put the... Uh, I accidentally put the camera in a ant pile right now, so it's covered in ants. And put that down. It is. It is being. Uh, it's gonna be an. Ev oh, and I hit the tree behind me. Yeah, didn't even get the words out of my mouth. It is gonna be an eventful morning. I can already tell. All right, I think it's time to hit. Time to hit a pond number two, guys. This is not producing. All right, guys, just got to the next spot. I'm going to change it up and put on this little reaction strike shed. Uh, this is Trev's spot, so don't ask me how it works, but he does say that it is loaded and uh, that we should be fishing stuff that we don't have to worry about grass. So we're going to go back to the basics, pull out the little two to four foot crankbait in that natural shad color and uh, make our way out there to the pond. Hopefully we don't get kicked out of this location because he did say there was a about 20% chance, I'd say. He said under 50, so... 30, 32% to be, 32.7 to be exact. So uh, let's see if we can make something happen. All right, guys, just got the uh, little reaction strike, little crankbait. Dude, this thing looks money, I'm not gonna lie. Very shad looking. It's got some loud knockers too. Oh my God, this ledge is very steep. Why didn't you tell me, Trev? <laughs> it's the steepest ledge I've ever fished. Definitely gonna have to fish straight out. Is this where you tore your ACL? No. <laughs> oh, we're on a good one. We're on a good one. That's a good one, bro. I don't even know. Flip it. Oh, dude, that's a tank. That's like a four pounder. That is a solid fish. Wow. Got a back on it like a, like Moby Dick. Get a look at this, guys. Bit it last sec on the crankbait. Got him on the roof of the mouth. If these hooks weren't as sharp as they are, I don't think we'd land this fish. All right, guys, take a look at this. Just like that, almost lost that fish. Just like that, almost lost that fish. Let's get him back in the water there. Awesome, solid first fish of this pond. I'd say it's probably like a three or four pounder with oh, a yeah. belly on that thing. At least, that's it. At least four. There you go, Bertha. You. <laughs> All right, first fish on our uh, reaction little crankbait was a solid one, guys. He literally thumped it, and I was like, fish. Set that hook. Boat flipped him. You got the whole spiel. Yeah, this is a cool little crank, I think, for ponds. How small it is, and like it's just so natural looking. Oh, oh, I thought we got smacked. It must have been a tree. Oh, no, it was a fish. It was a fish. He came up afterwards. I've never seen that yet, bro. I swear, I swear he bumped it and like took it in the grass and I, oh, and I set the hook and then when I set the hook, it pulled it out of his mouth, it felt like, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna swap out. Just a, uh, this looks like almost like a curl tail, but it's just like a flap. Huh. Well, I know, let's see. 
they gave us some weightless hooks, which I know will work for this. We'll grab a little quarter ounce bullet weight, like that, something like that. These hooks are trippy. I like that they do that. So the hooks themselves like pin down into the plastic. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Let's see if we can make something happen. That looks pretty juicy. If I was a fish, especially during like bed season, oh, these would be money. Oh, this bait like glows. I can see it from here. <laughs> it's like a white fluke thing. Yeah, the gambler baits. It's like glowing white though. Jesus, almost fell. Definitely not the first person that's thought about coming over here. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, another solid one, baby. Look at this fish. Look at this. Another solid little Bertha right out of the tree. No uh, bloody butt, bloody tail on this guy, but another solid one, man. We were just starting to find the bite. Insane. Get him back in the water, though. We're not going to do any crazy talking to me slow-mo. This is not a special fish, but it is still a good fish. Oh, we caught him. We caught him, guys. Woo! He flipped himself out. I got to get him back in the water. Buddy, that's not how you get in the water. Buddy, that's not how you get in the water. Uh. Uh. Yes. Yes, we got him in safely. Got that fish first cast under those trees. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Where's my pole at? I think I lost my pole. That's how excited I got. Uh oh, Trev's on one. Oh, boys. Oh, 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 dude. Dude, that's a big boy. Oh, my. Sally. Oh, you got him good, too. He's like, I'm bleeding oh. a little bit. Oh, we'll get him. Dude, that's like a four pound. Easily just pulled a four pounder while I'm trying to show you guys this bait. Yeah. Insane. You got that all on all on the camera. I love it when that happens, when everything just plays out well. Anyways, talking back about this bait. Look at those spear point hooks. They just dig right into the bait, make it real easy. So when the fish bite down, it just automatically sets the hook razor sharp, like extremely, extremely sharp. And on top of that, standing out with that white pearl and this tail just flaps. It's like it's so like subtle. It just is like finesse, ultimate finesse. Uh oh, uh oh! I got hung up on someone's line in the in the tree. Not even mine. Did it pop me? Ah, oh, it sucks. I just broke off. All right, guys, we're screwing around. We went back to the uh, square bill or the little uh, jabber jaw. I don't I don't know what this is called, but the one three little crank. Just because I did break off, so I did lose my bait, and I don't really feel like grabbing my other tackle box out. So we're just gonna see if we can get a bite on this real quick. If we can't, probably swap out and put a. A lizard or something different on there. I do want to try it though. Moving baits have uh, seemed to have been working. Oh, dude, he bucked that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a good one, but he smacked it. Same as the last fish, bro. Right on the no right on the nose, and then he flips it off just like that. Oh, I gotta get this fish for a shot. Don't don't go in the water yet, buddy. Dude. All right, guys. I don't even know. I think this is like fish number four on that uh, little one three crankbait. Let's get him back in the water, though. Beautiful fish, except for his tail. Look at that thing. I don't know what happened to it. Literally, chomped on tail, and then his belly's beat up. This guy's been through enough. Let's get him back in the water. Yay. Ooh, I didn't Belly flop. It. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of yeeted that one. My bad. Sorry, boy. All right. So this should have a drop off. I'm just going to jump it. All right. Next spot, guys. That wasn't, that wasn't too far.
That's a fish. That's a fish. Let's spit it out. No, he's still on. He's still on. <laughs> Woo! I thought we lost him for a second. Oh, our second one. On our little shad bait. It seems like they're out there a little bit deeper. Oh man, he's feisty. Let's see if I can get him out again. I trouble hooking my hand. There we go. I don't know what number of fish that is, but uh, there's another one. There it goes. <laughs> Jeez, that's not how to get things you want. If you'd rather get out of here, I'd rather, it's up to you. All right. What's up? Yeah, what's up? You just said it a minute ago. What's up? You said we, you we, want to be a so I can be I a fucking am, asshole too, we're bro. Nice. We're nice. You're not being fucking nice. I'm Look what happens when I'm you're fucking rude to people. You move. Oh, I'm gonna real cool, bro. Get your fucking ass here. You Karen ass. ass Girl, that's what you, you are. Want with this? Oh, really? You're gonna be real hard. Get out. Here. Next time the laws will take you off. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get a transpassing ticket. I got this too. Hey, I hope, I hope you're rolling too, buddy. Bye. What's so bad? Go find somewhere. It's so bad not that. Ticket? You know what it's really about? It's not the fish. It's because a kid drowned in the other. other. These ponds are deep. People, it's not, everybody that's, thinks it's the, If you got a problem, you can say we can leave and come and be all hard. You got a problem too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do too, too. Then ask. Then wait. Hey, wait, wait, get the camera up so you can yeah. Yeah. get your yeah. fucking camera. Yeah. Get your little camera. Let's, 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 let's just wait for the f***ing on police to get here. I don't care. Why you guys have to be such yeah. Bags, just ask us to leave. Don't be, don't say, get the f*** out of here. Say, just leave. Be nice about it. Well, you haven't left yet, so that's not working. We're working our way from this f***ing bank. Where do you expect us to go? Swim across the water? No. Yeah, it is. two of them over there. Hi, my name is Bill Dickman. Same as his. I actually like that. You call me Richard, though. Hey, that was hey, a good that, that was a good drowned, argument, you know? guys. Hey, I actually like that. All right. I'm nice to people. You, you can be assholes, but I'm not gonna be. To. I'm like you. It's gonna I get mean, me asshole too. All right. We'll get out of here. Being nice don't work. They say you, you just, just blow us off when we're nice. Then we gotta be an asshole. I understand, right? but hey, well, we, we all got the toss drone, I guess, right? Y'all have a good one. <laughs> we'll we don't see. Want get hurt. Hey, hey one guy got hit in the head. A kid got hit in the head with a golf ball. We'll hear you. We'll get out of your hair, man. All right, guys. I don't even know how to explain the words. What just happened? But we almost got into a physical altercation <laughs> with three golfers, uh, like one, one hard ass guy, and then two of his buddies came out of nowhere, tried to grab my camera, mess with me, pushing on me, talking crap to Trev. It was just one of the weirdest and uh, most intense experiences I've ever had. Not to mention we caught a dink, my PB dink, right before that happened. So epic, epic evening, <laughs> epic day. I, do you have words for what just happened, uh, man? I think what really set him off, they yelled at me. And then he got like a five inch bass while <laughs> coming over there. I think yeah. that's what, that's I what think got him. That might have triggered the, uh, the the adrenaline in them. But at the end of it, they kind of uh, apologized and said they weren't really trying to get into it with us. They were just trying to get us off the golf course. But uh, I don't know why they got to drop all those F-bombs and be so aggressive like that. Yeah. Either way, one of the most intense days and craziest experiences I've ever had. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, that is one big reason to. If you like the video as well, make sure you hit that thumbs up because it helps the channel out a lot. Once again, I'm going to leave links below for Trev's information. He's got the YouTube, he's got the Instagram, he's got the whole spiel. So check it out, guys. Links below. But that is going to be it for today. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Peace. Peace.